Hey guys, Top Pops here, and today we're gonna be opening up this huge package from Captain Pops. So let's get started. All right guys, so he had actually reached out to me a little while back, and if you guys don't know who Captain Pops is, he's actually a fellow YouTuber. If you guys wanna go check him out, you guys totally can. It's at Captain Pops. He was nice enough to send over this huge box full of stuff. Um, he's actually helped me out with a couple figures in the past, and uh, there was one that was on the Funko shop that I believe it's sold out now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so he was nice enough to help me out with this one. So we're gonna be opening this up and seeing what's inside. I'm pretty sure there's more than just that figure in here because it'd probably be about half the size of this box and it does feel pretty heavy. Also, there was the last day for the SDCC reveals today, so stay tuned to the end of the video where we'll talk about those. All right guys, so I've gotten inside of the box here and it looks like there's two things maybe so let's start with the smaller box first all right guys so here is the first thing here i am so excited about seeing what this is and captain pops you did not have to do this at all this is way too kind but i guess let's see what this is hold on guys there's a number on this and i did see a letter at the bottom so good thing i saw that first <clears throat> it says your channel is pure gold so Hide the loot. This is cool. Captain Pops. Captain Pops, thank you so much for sending this over. Now, I want to see if the other one has a number one on it, and then we'll know which one to open up first. Aha! It does. Okay, so this one has a one. This one has a two. Let's open this one first, I think. I think that makes sense. All right, guys, so I think we are inside. Ooh, okay, so this is number one, and it, I, can, I think it's a Huckleberry Hound, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is the 10-inch Huckleberry Hound. I'm just gonna pour this thing out and let's see what it looks like. There is a chase for this one. Nah, he wouldn't send the chase, that'd be crazy. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that is cool. Now I know um, Captain Pops has tried, or I think he is successful um, in getting every single 10 inch figure ever made. And I do not have this one yet. So this thing is amazing. I love the way this one looks. I'm a huge fan of Huckleberry Hound and Hanna-Barbera in general. Also, this is one of those ones that I kind of like, um, I did an April Fool's joke with. I think we talked about this a long time ago where I said they should make a 24 inch one. They didn't make a 24 inch one like I had said in the video, but the fake glam shot that Pop Vinyl guy actually made for me, uh, the one that I asked him to make and he was super nice about it, it looks very similar to this. So I thought that was kind of funny, but yeah, this thing looks amazing. All right guys, so let's see what is inside of box number two here. Now this one also says Huckleberry Hound with Chase, so I'm not too sure. It's probably not another Huckleberry Hound, but I'm not sure. Ooh, I can see it, looking good. It's not Huckleberry Hound, it's cooler. All right guys, so I think I'm just gonna do the same thing I did last time. It's gonna come out upside down, but that's fine. I'll just pour it out and then you guys can see it here. So let's see what this thing looks like. This will be my first time seeing this one in person ever. Same with the Huckleberry Hound, but I've seen him before, just smaller. I don't think I've ever seen this sculpt before. So here we go, guys. Ooh, this looks good. This is nice. This is nice. Look at that. Okay, guys, so this is the Skeletor 10 that came out on the Funko Shop a while back. This one right here uh, was one that I was meaning to get, and then for some reason it sold out. Well, I, I actually missed it that day. So anyways, he was really nice enough to help me out with this one. He said that he'd order two and one to send one over. So, Captain Pops, thank you so much for helping me out with this. These Pops both look amazing. Now I just have to find a place in the office to put these things, because I do not have enough room for them. All right, guys, so I pulled up everything on my laptop here, and we're going to be going through all of the different figures that they had announced today. There was also something pretty exciting about the Canadian pop collector, so stay tuned to the end for that one. But the first figure that they have here, guys, is Stan Lee from the original Iron Man movie. I think this one looks amazing. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a completely different sculpt for Stan Lee. The glasses look very similar, but he does wear a lot of glasses similar to that. So I think this is, like I said, a completely different sculpt. But yeah, I really like this one. He's supposed to look like Hugh Hefner, and just overall, it's a really great figure. And I'm glad they did it for the original Iron Man, because it's such a good movie. Next up here, guys, we have a couple more Marvel figures. We actually have two. We have The Thing, that's the zombified version of The Thing, 10-inch. I think this is one of the ones that's at the top of my list for figures that I want to pick up this convention just because of how cool that looks. Like, you can see, like, his bones and skull on the inside. It's just really, really well done. Then the other one we've got here is the Dark Captain Marvel. This is one that I don't know too much about, but it does look really well done. I just don't know too much about Dark Captain Marvel. I don't really think I've ever seen it before. It's probably in a comic book series somewhere, but it still looks really great. Here we have two from the X-Men series. This is for the 20th anniversary, and they are doing the Nightcrawler and Wade Wilson. I think Nightcrawler looks great, especially the way he's floating there, and he's got, like, the blue kind of coming under him. I don't know exactly what that is, whether that be fire or uh, just, like, wind or something similar to that, but overall, it just looks really great. Then the Wade Wilson there, 
Kind of a creepy figure. I don't like the way it looks. It's kind of like, ugh. but you know what I mean? Funko did a really good job on the way Wade Wilson looks in the films as well as this right here. So I think it's well done. It's just kind of creepy. Here we've got another great one. This is another Harry Potter figure. This is Harry Potter at the World Cup. I really like this one because they've got like a whole different sculpt going for the Harry Potter as well as he's clapping here. I know, it does, I, I think he's clapping anyways. He's got his hands like he's about to clap. I think if it was like this, it would have looked weird. So kind of like it's about to, you know, slap his hands together to clap. Um, but yeah, this one's really cool. I like how he's got the matching outfit there. This is pretty much exactly what he looks like in the World Cup scene. I think the hat looks really great. This is another one of those Harry Potters I'm probably going to add to the collection. I think I have like seven or eight Harry Potters now, and I know there's way more than that, but I would love to add this one because it's probably going to be an easy one um, for me to get. I think this one is shared with Barnes & Noble, if I'm not mistaken. We'll check that at the end. Um, but yeah, it's still a really, really well done one. It's just too bad they didn't do more Harry Potter figures because I know a lot of you guys really like them. Here's a bit of a weird one. So if you guys know Jay and Silent Bob, they did a reboot. I believe it was last year or the year before. I don't remember, but this one right here is from the Jay and Silent Bob reboot and it's Iron Bob. This has some really great detail to it. I thought it was just gonna be, you know, Silent Bob wearing the mask, but instead they did the entire suit. I know this is what it is from the movie, but it still looks really great. And I didn't expect it to be this detailed. And I did see a figure that Kevin Smith put up on his Instagram. I think it was today. It was of this exact figure here, but it was more of a statue. And I thought it looked really Really, really great, um, especially with this one here looking very similar to it. It's got a lot of the same detail, and I'm a huge fan of that. All right, guys, so this next one here is Wallace with Phone from Scott Pilgrim. Now, I don't know much about this figure because I haven't seen Scott Pilgrim before. I probably should watch Scott Pilgrim because it seems like a great movie, and a lot of you guys really enjoy it. Just even from looking at the comments here, there's a lot of you guys excited about Wallace here. I just don't know too much about it, but I should probably watch the movie. But anyways, it's still a cool figure. I just don't know much about it, like I said. Now again, this is one of those ones that I don't think many people have heard of. I don't see any comments on it anyways. Um, I see someone saying that looks amazing. Too bad I've never played this game before. So yeah, I don't know if too many people have played this one, but it does look great. Um, I mean, this might be a newer one, but this is from Critical Role and it's Vex on Broom. Um, it kind of reminds me of the one from Overwatch. Oh, what's her name? Mercy. I think it was the Witch Mercy. It kind of reminds me of that figure there. Um, but yeah, it's a cool one. It looks great. It's got some great detail. I just don't know what Critical Role is. But if any of you guys know what critical role is let me know in the comment section below thanks and then guys this last set of figures that they announced here was a huge drop for SDCC this right here was the entire Anchorman set and it looks like the whole thing is going to be exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con and then that's it I mean they're making every single character possible they've got Ron Burgundy they've got Brick and then they also have Brian as well and they're doing different variants of Ron as well coming to this convention so I feel like there's not going to be any more Ron Burgundy figures after San Diego Comic-Con and it totally makes sense why they're putting it at San Diego Comic-Con because the movie does take place in San Diego. It's just so funny that they're making them all exclusive to SDCC. Usually what I think they would do, they would do like one figure, maybe even just like Brick or one of the Ron Burgundies, but it's funny how they're doing every single one. And you know what? I'm not complaining. But one thing I do want to know, guys, is Brian is scented. I want to know what that smells like. Can't be good. But anyways, guys, that is every single figure that they announced for SDCC 2020. I'm actually really excited about all of these figures that they've come out with. And if you guys want to see a video where I talk about the ones that I'm going to be picking up, or I'm going to try to pick up, let me know in the comment section below. But here is the Share 2020 retailers list. So if you guys want to see this, it's popped up right there. Um, and this is the United States one. So you guys can see that there's the show only, Amazon, Best Buy, Box Lunch, Funko Shop, pretty much just like normal. I think the only weird one would probably be... I don't know. There's not too many weird ones, actually. Like, like FYE is getting one figure this time. GameStop's getting some pretty great ones. Funko Shop is getting a lot of figures this time. So if you guys want those ones, it's going to be tough to get. I hope they do a bundle this year, but I don't think they did last time for the other convention for Emerald City Comic Con. So I don't know if they're going to do one this time. The one thing that I do find kind of funny though, guys, is the toucan with the red spacesuit is not on this list here. I thought they would have put it on here, just said Comic Con Museum, but it is kind of a weird way to get it. So I understand why they didn't put it on here. And it's just going to be one of those ones that I'm going to have to try pretty hard to get because I don't want to spend the $500. But yeah, it's probably going to be worth more than that after it comes out. I'm just a little worried it's going to be like thousands of dollars. And the thing that I was talking about earlier about the Canadian retailers is that there's actually an entire list just for them. So if you guys look here, they have an EB Games list, a Toys R Us Canada, they have a Grosner as well as Indigo. So if you guys don't know what these places are, EB Games is pretty much like a GameStop here in Canada. They get very similar things and they pretty much get all of the GameStop exclusives just a little bit later. Um, Toys R Us Canada, we still have Toys R Us here in Canada. I mean, it's owned by, I think it's uh, it says there, Kroger, not by Toys R Us. I don't know if Kroger owned the Toys R Us in the United States. I'm not too sure. Indigo down there, guys, has the Harry Potter exclusive. It's pretty much just like a bookstore. So we have three different stores that kind of go together with those. It's Chapters, Kohl's, and Indigo. They're all owned by the same company. But when I've seen these before, it's probably going to go to Chapters or Indigo. I've never seen too many figures at Kohl's. So if you guys are looking for that one in Canada, I would go to one of those stores, not 
Coles. And then the last one here we have, guys, is Grosner. Grosner's getting a lot of really cool ones in, as well as the soda figures. Now, that one's not a specific store. It's actually a distributor. They distribute stuff to, like, uh, Shoppers Drug Mart. I've seen them for sure before. Um, they also distribute them to, what's the one, like, Lids? But they usually just get the sports ones in. So to be honest, I'm not too sure where we're going to be able to find these ones. Maybe some smaller mom and pop shops will be ordering them as well. I'm not too sure. But I really do want to see if I can get those soda figures, because they're going to Grosner, and I just have no clue where they're going to be. Well, anyways, guys, that is every single SDCC announcement that I've got for you guys. I don't think they're going to be announcing anything else this year. That seems to be about it. Sometimes they do stuff closer to the convention, like a little, like, surprise drop, but I don't think that's going to be happening this year. But anyways, again, Captain Pops, thank you so much for sending over these two amazing 10-inch figures. I've got them right here. They do look amazing. And again, if you guys want to go check out Captain Pops, it's literally just Captain Pops on YouTube. Go check him out. Go subscribe. Tell him I said hi, because he has some really great content over there. I've actually been on his channel before. I believe it was his or Beard of Pops. I don't know. They go back and forth every week doing live streams so if you guys want to go check those out i believe they're every saturday or friday if i'm not mistaken but anyways go check them out go subscribe so that you guys don't miss the live streams but anyways hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys want to see more from me in the future don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that but this has been upside top pops popsters thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow hey you made it to the end of the video if you're new around here you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel i do upload every day after all and if you're already a subscriber thank you and you can always like the video if you know well like the video and if a video every day isn't enough for you you can always check me out on many other platforms i do post pretty much every day over there as well oh and i also wanted to mention that due to popular demand we now have top pops merch yeah i know i know you're welcome we have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors that's right 16 different colors so there's literally a color for everyone there's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's going to do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.